I'm Warren Cohen. Um, I'm with the USDA Forest Service. The forest health issues are uh, boiling up. Forests have always sort of seen insects and diseases sporadically and, um, and you know, forests sort of succumb in some cases and they always grow back. But there's been a lot more physiological stress on the forest due to climate. And by looking at time series, and the denser the better, we can begin to see those changes because they're multi-year, they take time. When you start to look beyond the easy stuff, there's a lot of information there, but it can be mixed with noise and trying to figure out, you know, time series noise. It's, try, it's, it's interesting to, to work there and try to sort of separate out the signal from the noise. It's, uh, it's not easy, especially with automated algorithms. But it is possible, and we're starting to, to get there, I think. The Landsat was launched, and there was observations beginning at that time. And between um, 72 and 84, there was a huge spike in population growth. It's the beginning of the population explosion. You know, all of that is kind of in the Landsat record back then, if you want to try to get it out. And what I want, I think is what most people want to use Landsat data, they want, you know, they want to be able to use TM, ETM+, Plus, OLE, uh, Sentinel, without worrying about you know, the data from there in time series, without worrying about what sensor it came from. Fortunately, there's overlap, coincident images acquired on Landsat 5 in particular. So you've got these two data sets that are very different from each other, acquired at exactly the same time, that you could begin to work out statistical relationships for how to relate those to each other. And so that's what we've been doing. And there's a, there's a number of issues to get even to that point that have to do with geometry and, and things like that. But the real spectral harmonization is, is the, the part that uh, I really wanted to get to. And uh, we, we developed um, uh, a system to do that, and I think it works fairly well. The big problem you have with taking a single image of Landsat to try to do anything with forest biomass, for example, is it saturates very early, you know, at canopy closure. And you might have 70, 80, 100 or more years after that where everything's slowly changing, spectrally maybe not changing very much, but the forest structure and the biomass increasing and changing very dramatically. If you know the history, right? If something was disturbed 20 years ago by a large amount, you then say, well, that's got to have less biomass than a stand that wasn't disturbed. And we can go back to 1972 to look at kind of that stability. Those things can really help you to predict forest structure with Landsat data.